What is the fun in running around town trying to help other people? Don't you feel so dumb? You are such a jerk. Rage sure works up a mean appetite. I'm starving. Hmm. Oh, it's still locked shut. Just when will this place open? Want to get your hopes up? The gate's covered in dust. I don't think anyone's been here for a long time. I'm a, more of a traditional puzzle person. Hasn't really given me very many puzzles. I'm responsible for managing the influx and outflux of residents in Saint Mystery. In other words, I supervise who gets to stay in the village and who has to be shown the door. If you wish to stay in Saint Mystery, I strongly advise you butter me up by solving this puzzle. All right. This board has 12 dots on it. Your task is to connect these dots to form as many squares as possible. You can use each dot multiple times, and you can orient the squares however you wish to fit them on the board. However, to be counted as a square, each corner must be on a dot. How many squares can be drawn on the board? Okay. Oh, I was hoping it would let me, you know, do this. So, obviously we have one, two, three, four, five. Obviously we have those five. Okay. Then we have one, two, three, four. So that puts us at nine. We have six or ten. Is it just ten? Oh wait, maybe maybe that one's not the square. That one's not a square. We have five here. We have four going that way. Gives us nine. I feel like the answer is probably 10. I just can't find the tenth square if there is one. It's like, well, it's a forty pick rat puzzle, so there's shenanigans here. There are shenanigans. Just trying to look at what I can here and cipher something. I only see nine, though. Oh, 
Oh wait, there it is, there it is. Here, 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 here. There's the tenth one. I, I knew I saw a tenth one there. So theoretically we have one here as well. So Eleven. Alright, let's go with eleven. There's probably a twelfth one in there. That should do it. Every let's go. Has an answer. Nice work. Did you have a hard time finding the two biggest squares? Uh, I didn't, but I found it, and then I lost it. <laughs> so I had to find it again. Ah yes, that's the answer. Very well then, I approve your application to visit Saint Mystery. But when you have finished your business here, I strongly advise you leave town. Gramophone, that's going to Leighton for show. He's the only one that can appreciate such music. Got another puzzle for me? Uh, it is my constant vigilance that lets Lady Dahlia live comfortably in this village. When you see her, I strongly advise you let her know how hard I've been working. Let her know yourself, Dom. Let me know hit coins. Alright. More gato puzzles. There don't seem to be a lot of animals around town. Blah, 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 blah. Come on, blah, 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 blah. You got a puzzle for me? It was real nice, but... Comes up with some tough puzzles. Well, sorry to bother you while you're busy, but would you make an old man? You would make an old man very happy by helping with this puzzle. Certainly, let's have a look. Laziest man on earth. Uh, behold, before you sits the laziest man in the entire world. Known far and wide for his aversion to physical activity, this slug has designed his house so that he can grab anything without leaving the comfort of his recliner. Using an elaborate set of tools, including a fishing rod, extendo arm, and high energy magnets, this legendary loafer has put everything in his room within reach. However, despite his efforts, there's one place he can't reach without getting off his duff. What could it be? His butt? <laughs> I really hope that's not the answer. <laughs> hmm. I kind of want to say, like, the bookshelf behind him. But I think you might be right, Dante. This seems like one of those puzzles. Where it would just do that. I don't want to spend a hint coin on this. So... 
I will read the first hint. Puzzle nine. Usually one has to stand to reach something high up and away, but this ingenious loafer has tools to do that for him. Don't go looking for the answer in high places. Not too helpful. I don't want it to be that answer, Dante. I really, really don't. But I'll, I'll humor you. I'll humor you. There we go. Every puzzle has an answer. That's right. There's no way from. For him to reach under his chair without getting off his rear end. If that fishing rod extendo arm and magnet combo works as well as it seems to, a picture this fellow may never get up again. So that's the answer. In my heyday, I could have solved a puzzle like that before you could say cobblestone. My goodness, I guess I'm getting soft in my old age. Eek table. I went to Luke. You got another one for me, dog? Hello again, are you here to take another look at my desk? Here to get the stepping. That puzzle was, uh, disappointing. I'm glad it wasn't his butt, though. We can have some dignity there. There we go. was basically his butt. I mean, if, if you were rot, yeah, you would say that. But you're not rot. You wouldn't make such an argument. <laughs> you know I'm right on that one, Dante. Oh, a customer. Welcome, welcome. I have some great deals on sausage today. My skirt steak will make any plate a fashion, or make any plate a fashion plate. Sorry to disappoint you, sir, but we didn't come here to shop. Ah, oh, and here I was thinking about to get a... It's going to get real in a big sale. You got a hungry look about you, you know? Well, if I can't interest you in any of my fine meat products, how... Or can I at least tempt you with a puzzle? <clears throat> Man, you have to drink now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Somebody ate the butcher's sausages. Here's what these four boys have to say. B ate the sausages. D ate them all up. I didn't eat them, no way. B's totally lying. Only one of these rascals is telling the truth, and all the others are, needless to say, lying. Can you figure out who ate the sausages? <sighs> Not good at these ones. The riddle. Riddles are difficult. Or I guess this one's a critical thinking one. And that's a riddle. Alright, so A says B ate the sausages. D, uh, B says D ate them all up. D says I didn't eat them. No way. D says B's totally lying. So, 
if we try to utilize some of the same thinking that we did from some previous puzzles, we can establish that if A is telling the truth, or if If B is telling the truth, then A and D are lying. If C is telling the truth, then A either B is lying or A and D are lying. I'm gonna have to write this one down. Okay, so we got A, B, C, D. Okay, so truth lies. So if A is telling the truth, then A is telling the truth and C is telling the truth in which uh, D is telling the truth and B is the liar. If B is telling the truth, then D is a liar, C is telling the truth, and A is a liar. If C is telling the truth, then <clears throat> then it's either A and D or it's B. That are telling the truth, in which case it's either A and D or B. Okay, and if D is telling the truth, okay, saying that B is lying, then C is telling the truth. B is lying, and A is telling the truth. So, if I did this correctly, A and D follow the same line of thinking, where all of those individuals, uh, A, C, D, are telling the truth and B is lying. Only in B are there two liars, and in C, there are two options for liars. So... Which one ate the sausage? B ate the sausage. Happens to be the uh, Here's my answer. the bigger of the kids. All right, that is incorrect. Frankly, I'm ashamed. Oh, did it? Did it even give me a a hint? Didn't even. Didn't even try to help me out on this one. Hmm. Oh. Once again, I did not read the question and interpret it properly. Only one of the rascals is telling the truth. And under none of my scenarios is one person telling the truth. Well, let's reevaluate C for a second here. If C is telling the truth, and C did not eat the sausages,
then B is lying. And A and E could be correct. I don't know. I don't know. These ones are these ones are annoying. So maybe if we approach this in a different manner here. Okay. Truth. Five. Okay. Okay, so... Let's say A is lying. All right. A is lying. Then B did not eat the sausages which means that B could potentially be telling the truth. Which would make D also lying under that scenario. And C would be telling the truth. If B If B is lying, okay, then any one of them could be correct. So A, C, E. If C is lying, B is lying, then all of them are lying. B A B E, and none of them are telling the truth, which is interesting. And if D is lying, I think I might have to redo B, but and maybe A. But if D is lying. Then B, presumably telling the truth, makes A lying, which makes C lying. I don't know. I'm going with B. Oh, no, I already went with B. No, who did I go with? I went with B. I already went with B. Let's, uh, use a hint coin. Remember that you want to find the person who ate the sausages, not the people who are lying. To attack problems like these, go through your list of potential thieves, assume that each one is guilty, and see which statements fit each case. That should get you started. Good luck. Well, I just went through that, and it's a hot mess. If you have chosen the right person, then three of the four boy statements should be false. If you think you found the culprit, but only two of the four boy statements turn out to be lies, haven't found the thief yet. Here's another valuable piece of information. Only one person ate the sausages. I, I, I mean, I guess. Um. 
Um, the only scenario that I can come up with in which one person is telling the truth is if D is lying. If D is lying, then then B is not lying and D ate them. Oh, in which case it would be D. Luke, here's my answer. Oh, how embarrassing. Okay. Well, we're at 50-50 right now. B and D have been ruled out, so it's either C or A. I feel like C. C doesn't work out. If C is lying, that means he ate them. Which means everybody's lying and nobody's telling the truth. Oh, well, but. Okay, but that would it the one person has to be telling the truth. And if C is lying, everybody else is lying. Actually, no. If C is lying, D is telling the truth. All right. If B is telling the truth, or I mean, if A is telling the truth, then B is lying, C is telling the truth, and D is telling the truth. Well, that can't be right. So if A is lying, then B did not eat the sausages, which means that we kind of come up with the conundrum. A is lying. I mean, D could be lying, B could be lying, and C could be lying. Um, it's it's a combination. All right. I mean, it's basically do or die right here. We're going with C. That should do it. Okay. Every puzzle has Struggle is real. I am so bad at puzzles. Not even funny. Uh, C ate the sausages, and the only person telling the truth here is D. If you assume A to be the culprit, both C's and D's statements must be correct. Choose B and the other three boys' statements must be true. If you make D out to be the criminal, then both B and C are saying must be true. None of these possibilities fit the conditions set forth in the puzzle. Hey, you're pretty good at this. As a bonus for solving my puzzle, I'll throw in some gossip I heard. Word is that somebody lives in that dark, grimy tower. Uh, you'd have to be one odd duck to want to live in that old, moldy wreck of a place. Flower vase? Sure. 